In our place, God became a human. Then he can die. Was he still God when he yeah. became a human? Yes. Good. So he's still God. So yeah. there's no problem there. So the, the question still remains. That no? is called Christ, okay? Christ to die. The reason while we were still sinners, Christ to die. Okay, the reason I asked you with regards to the second person of the Trinity is not to confuse between the labels given to the second person, i.e. the Christ, the Son, and so on. To make it very, very unique and very, very specific, I am telling you the second person of the Trinity. Did he die or not? Second person of the Trinity, when he became a human, died. But he was also God at that time, remember? Yeah. So why do you keep saying only human? Yeah. I Why do you say only human? Okay. God and human. He took on humanity. In humanity, he can die. Okay. Do you, do you remember? I, do you remember I told you earlier? Nature is linked to a person. Yes. Say, for example, you might have a good nature, a kind nature. Yes. A generous nature. When you will pass away from this world one day, when you will die, people will not say your nature has died. They will say this person died. Am I right? So. Once again, I'm asking you the question. Did the second person of the Trinity die? Yes. Good. Can God die? Yeah. No. You have to. Un you are asking two different things. I am not. Please. No, no, no. You According to you, the second person of Trinity is God. I told you. Yeah. When you say God as God cannot die. But when the Son of God became a human, in his humanity, he can die. Why? That is the reason okay. he became a human. Do you think <coughs> it is impossible for God to die in his humanity if he wanted to take humanity upon him? Can I respond? Yeah. Good. When you say he's, he died in his humanity, you know what you're doing there? You somehow are thinking that Jesus in his humanity was a separate person from the divine Jesus. No. No, I do not think no, that. No, I'm right. just telling you. Hear me well, out. That's your understanding. Yeah, yeah. I will say what I assume from what you said, and then you correct me. I am correct. Is that you. fine? Okay, so let me finish first. When you say in his humanity he died, yes, the, pro the point I am making is it is still the second person of Trinity who died. Yes? You cannot say, wait, 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 I haven't finished it. No, the second. Once I finish, and then you correct me. Okay? Remember, I said the natures do not, are not something that is independent of people. Your nature is linked to you, my nature is linked to me, God's nature is linked to God. Yes? When you say Jesus Christ, and somehow you're assuming it's only the human nature, I'm not making... No, 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 no. When I say no, no. Jesus Remember Christ, I said, let me make this God statement, and the then you correct me. Is Jesus my friend, Christ. my friend, correct me after I finished. So when you say Jesus in, in his humanity died, you somehow are thinking, this person in humanity is some other person. Let me let me finish and then you correct me if I'm wrong. The thing I'm saying is this. It is still the same person with two natures. It is still the same person who died. Yes? So you cannot say in his humanity he died and his, in his divinity you, he lived on. The fact, the fact of the matter, wait, wait, wait. The fact of the matter is this. Both the natures are linked to whom? One person i.e. the second person of the Trinity. It is that person who died. Good. Okay. Which means he's mortal. The second person of Trinity is mortal. Because he took on mortality. Thank you. He Good. took on humanity. Absolutely that what I'm saying. He was able to Which die. is absolutely what I'm saying. Okay. So can we, can we now conclude? I conclude? Yeah. That the first because person... I want to go to the next subject. Yes, yes. I know you're very eager. I want you to understand what I'm concluding. Yeah. So you stand by what... I concluded, and if you, if I, what I'm, my conclusion is incorrect, then please correct me. My conclusion is this: God in First Timothy chapter six sixteen says, "He alone is immortal." That's true. The word immortal means. That's true. Means. Yeah, cannot die. Cannot die. Thank yeah. you very much. Yeah. So, in the three persons within the Trinity, within the Godhead, yes. Do we have a Bible, New King James version. Why you guys only follow King James? 
No, no, no. Are you okay with the NIV? I got the NIV. Are you okay with the NIV? Oh, you like the KJV, okay? No, I will take the No, no, no problem. I know. Okay, so listen. You, you are taking a verse from First Timothy. Okay, read it. Go on. Right. Even KJV will say the same yeah. thing. And KJV yeah. will say the same yeah. thing. RSV says the same yeah. thing. I know. NRV says the same, the same thing. thing. That's why we have different words. It says but same message. The only thing that makes a difference is I think in NIV it says he alone is immortal. In KJV it says he only okay. had immortality. I'm going to read what Go on, he read. said. What First he Timothy said. chapter okay. six verse sixteen. Okay, I'm going to read it. Go on, read it. After I read this, I'm going to read one more verse from the same book. Okay. No problem. As long as it's about immortality. So who alone has immortality, mm -hmm. dwelling in unapproachable light, whom no man has seen or can see, yeah. to whom be honor and everlasting power and amen. Absolutely. Okay. I am going to who is that? chapter two. Can we, can we? God. God okay. When you say God, when yeah. you say God. Yeah. Okay. Did people see God? Hmm? Did people see God? Um, whom no man has seen or can see. Yes. Yes. Did people see God? People see uh, in the Old Testament. People have seen God. So why does that verse see whom no one has seen? Because uh, no one has Jesus explained it. What? No one has seen the Father. Oh, okay. So that That's is about the Jesus Father. Then. No, Can I'm we... not saying that. No, but this is but wait, wait, wait. wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. That verse is very clear. No one has seen. No one can see him, yeah. and no one has seen him. Yeah. Did people see Jesus? Yeah. So that verse cannot be referring because to Jesus, can it? it? it, it it is talking about God. Of course. It is talking, it is talking about, about the immortal okay, God. It is not, Only the immortal God. It is not talking about the incarnation of God. No, it's talking it about the immortal God. It is not talking God. about the Son of God. Wait, I am going to the same chapter, okay, same no. book. Doesn't matter. Same God. book. And I as long as you agree that God is immortal, no. then we have no issues. Chapter 2, same writer. Because the writer cannot contradict himself. Same Actually, he does many times. Saying, <laughs> if you David Paul. <laughs> verse, uh, verse, uh, Five and six. Yeah. For there is one God and one mediator between God and men, the man Christ Jesus, who gave himself a ransom for all. Yeah. What does that prove? So his life was given as a ransom. Yeah. Who is the one God according to him? Yeah. According to him, who's the one God? The, according to the verse you just read, who is that one God? The, this is one God. Who? One? Who is that? In this verse? Yes, in that verse. Okay. It is talking about in general. No, is it is talking God. specific. There is but one God and one mediator. Who is the God and who is the mediator? God, there is one God. Who? Eh? The mediator. No, no, who is that one God? Which person of the talking, Trinity is no, it talking wait, about? Wait, wait, wait. It is talking about two different things. Which is? It is talking about, we know that no sinful human can mediate between God and man because we all are sinners. So who is the mediator? So it is saying that there is only one mediator between God and man. And who is that? That is the God who became a human. Oh, it didn't say God there. Jesus it didn't say he was God. No, it doesn't have to explain everything. It says the man, Christ. the man Jesus Christ. Yes, so why did, you know, man. why did you say the God then? You twisted your own verse. No, 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 no. He says, but there no. is one mediator, the man, Jesus yes, Christ. Yes. And, and then he, before that, he says, no. there is but one God. Who is the one God? He is talking about the man. He also had to be a man. But the man is you know, the second the person. mediate between God and man. His own verse is going no, against him. No, he doesn't no, realize that. You are missing the Okay, who is the God? To According to okay. who is the God? Uh, let, let me finish this with him. No, no, finish. No, 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 no. Unless you, to, unless no, you no, admit no. that God is immortal. Mortal and Jesus is mortal, which is meaning change in nature. And God says He never changes nature. So your Bible. What is nature? Changing nature. Changing nature meaning having single nature becoming dual nature. Where does He say God does not change His nature? Look at uh, Numbers 23:19. Okay. Are you not aware of this? I'm surprised. Yeah. No, no, no. I want to read. I'm assuming you are a pastor in your church. I'm not. I'm not pastor. God is church. No. I'm okay. Not. <laughs> I'm not. <laughs> What's your opinion? Stop. You got him there, innit? Yeah. Inshallah, we'll get there. I don't know. Anybody, I don't have the Bible. Do you have a Bible? I thought you had the KJV. You just removed it. No, no, no. Oh, no, you want a different no, Bible no, now? No, no, no. I, I'm a, Come on, you I, guys come here to preach Christianity with a big sign. And you didn't even bring a Bible with you. Malayalam. Okay, it's in our language. No problem. What is it? Malayalam? Malayalam. Okay, no problem. Nice place, Where Kerala. Different uh, have you been there? I've been there, yeah. Lovely place. Uh, huh? I don't know why it is. Yeah. When I take. You should have an app. It's very good. 
the Bible app. You don't need internet for that. And it's got all the different okay. versions. Okay. Okay. So, so when God says this, but one God and one mediator, the man, one Jesus God Christ. Means the Father, Son, and the Holy no, Spirit no. is one God. No, no, no. the distinction was made in that. It is talking about mediator. Who is the mediator? Jesus Christ, the man. Was he a separate person? To, in order to mediate, because he had to be a man, in order for him to be the substitute for yeah. to take your sins. Yeah. That, that also in Numbers 3.19. Was man. the other one, Malachi? Yeah, chapter 3, verse 6. One. Malachi 3, 6 is the other one. Uh, uh, no, I cannot get to that. You don't have Old Testament? Oh, that's No, right. I have it. Somehow it is stuck there. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Right. You guys don't have a um, hard, hard copy of the Bible? No, not now. We, you know, first time we are here, next time we That's fine, no here, problem. When you come to okay. preach about Christianity... I am going, going to ask you a question. Nobody, I haven't finished. I was, no, 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 no. You said you let me conclude. Let me conclude at least. No, I said I will conclude and you said, you know... No, but I have to conclude no, as well. Conclude, okay, so conclude. my conclusion is this. In 1 Timothy 6.16, God is talking about that He alone is immortal that no one has seen him or can see him yes remember God according to you is three persons yes am I right so when you say no one has seen God then it cannot be the three persons it can only mean the father which you correctly pointed out earlier yes so only the father is immortal based on that statement he alone is immortal Okay, no one else can be immortal. If no, the, I will not say that, brother. Well, I will not if you're that concluding that is talking about the that Father, is, then I it can not, only talk. I will not conclude that. Brother. Okay, is I that verse not. talking about only the Father or somebody else as well? It is talking about God in general. Okay, so Father, Son, and Holy okay. Spirit. Ask God, Father, and Son, and Holy Spirit. No one has seen. Okay, so that no one saw Jesus. No one saw Jesus. Eh? No one saw Jesus. No, ask Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. No one has seen. But when the Son of God became a human, no, baby. When the Son of God became Malachi. a human, that's Malachi. God doesn't change nature. Yeah. Read it aloud. No, where, where does it say God does not change? No, no. You read it aloud. You tell me what it means. For I am the Lord, I change not. Change not means? I change not yes. what? Yes, means change what not? Does it say in nature? No, no, in what he doesn't change. No, you no, tell no, me. No, eh? His character. That's his character? He will not change. Okay, okay. He will not lie. Wait, wait, let's let's see this. So you're saying the character of the Old Testament God is the same as the New Testament? That's true. The same character. That's true. The one who kills babies. That's true. Sorry, the one who instructs to kill babies oh. is the same as Jesus. That's, that's, wow. That's true. That's true. You know, now, now you know this, is, this just shows that you pick and choose the meanings. No, do you have problem God killing babies? If the God that you're talking about huh. says that he doesn't change his nature. No, no, no. The, this is my question. Can I answer the way I want? Okay. okay. If God tells human beings to kill people who are infants and children and kill those fetuses who are in the womb of the mother like he says in Hosea 316 rip open the pregnant woman and take the take the unborn baby and dash it to the ground if that is your God yes then I don't think that is the God wait wait Hosea 316 I gave you the verse even Why does it say that Hosea 3 sorry Dash it to the ground. In the same verse, Hosea 3.16. Take it. Take it. No problem. Dash it there are many places where it says, dash it to the ground. I, I, I like to, By the way. Just like you show me that about, you know, change, I, then you couldn't show me that it is changed it is, nature. No, no. Right? If you think so change. That's why I, you are no, no. the scripture. You know what he did? You are twisting the scripture. Wait, wait. If you think you I twisted the scripture. Sorry. Wait, wait. You already with all due respect. No, 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 no. With all due respect. If you think yeah, I'm yeah, twisting yeah. the scripture, yeah. the scripture didn't say change in character. No, no, no. But he agreed with that. You see the double standard? No, no, no. You already said that it is the nature you said God will not change nature you told me that you are going to show it and you could not show no you it. couldn't find it number you I gave you numbers 23 19 no, 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 you couldn't no, 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 find it no, no. Because of okay so if I show you will you agree with me okay I'm if I show you will you agree with me no no but let's let's at least be fair if I show you then will you agree with me sure good King James version. Why only King James? Yeah. Why? <laughs> Why? Are you saying all the others are wrong? I'm not saying. Well, that, then but stick to the one I'm going to give you. Then the one that either you say it is wrong you know, or you, you say I agree with it. You, you can't have it both ways. You gave me because people can translate in different ways. Are you better than yeah, the yeah, people yeah. who translate? Yeah. Are I you better than saying, that? I am not saying that. I am not saying that. What I am then why you have a problem with scholars who translate it? I have to look at the translation. No problem. In the meantime, this is the question to you because uh, we are going for some time. This is the question to you. 
Do you believe that Prophet Muhammad is the best example to mankind? I haven't finished this topic. No, no, no. And you have already no, moved no, on. No, going for. You already moved on. No, no, no. I have to ask my question. Of course, you. I will let no, you ask no, your question. We will not finish. I will let you ask no, your question. No, 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 no. I have answered it. Why didn't you join him? I have answered it. Why didn't you join him? Don't tell me how to answer. I don't. I don't answer the way you want. No. Okay. So basically, he doesn't want to carry on with the conclusion I made that God Almighty is immortal, but Jesus was mortal. I told you. I told you. You told me what? I told what? you. What? You kept saying nature. Jesus, God, the Son of God, became a human. Only human? I told you. Only human? I told you. Only human? No, God in humanity. Exactly. Yeah. Which is the second yeah, person of Trinity. The, uh, yeah, yeah, the humanity yeah. is not something which sticks by itself. Yeah. It is linked to the second person of the Trinity. Yeah. Similarly, the divinity yeah. is the nature of His God which doesn't stick by itself it is linked to the second person of the trinity That's true. you already you already admit the second person of trinity died i am not am i right yes, yes. so that means he's mortal yes. no in humanity because of humanity what do you mean humanity well, humanity doesn't human mean, it doesn't mean no, jesus is a separate understand. person no 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 That's he's not right. a separate no, no, person no, no. you are you are not being honest i am being when honest you, i am no, being no, sincere no, no, and i'm being no, no. consistent that, in my that, answer that, that the nature no, no, no. is always attached no, no. to the person did the person die this is going yes he died no, I answered when a person answer. dies that means he is mortal please, you have to admit please, this please please now if you're not okay, sincere there's no point carrying on this circle. my friend no i'm going to ask you this question you are stuck okay, in the circle no, no, and no. you need to come you, out you are stuck in the circle you need to come out actually you I'm believe so you believe god no, dies i am asking you actually no, believe god no, dies no, i'm not going to ask you i answer you now now if you're not I'm being sincere you remember what i said earlier that if you're not being i want to have a sincere no i want to have a discussion which is friendly I want to have a discussion you which are, you are actually uses. No, brother, brother, I am asking you this it, question. You are able to give me evidence as well. Why are you running away? He's I'm not. Prophet, the best example to mankind. He's the best example to us, alhamdulillah. Mankind? Yes. Yes? Yes. yes. He is, do you accept everything written in uh, Bukhari and Sahih Muslim? If they are Sahih, yes. If the, why do you, what you I have to qualify Sahih? my answers the way I want. Do you believe that? What is the point you're making? Do you believe that Come to Muhammad the point. married a six year old child? Yes. Do you believe that? Yes. You agree that? Yes. Do you believe that a 50 or 51 year old man marrying a six year old child is a good, best example to mankind? By today's standard, no. In any standard? No, at that time. Mary got pregnant at 12 years old. No. Is your God a, is your God a good no, standard? No, 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 no. Who made her pregnant? No, 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 no. Your God. Wait. The Father, Wait. the Son, and Wait. the Holy Spirit. Wait. He says God means changing, all three. No, I'm not. It's the no. same. Because if look, look, if you're no. if you're calling Muhammad no. someone who's a child abuser, then your God I is a child abuser. I didn't say that. What are you claiming? You are what is it you're claiming? This is my question. What? This a 51 year old man. Yeah. Marrying a six year old girl. Yes. A child. Yes the best example to mankind it's not the best example no i wouldn't okay, say it's the best example. then then you would say Muhammad don't don't no don't put words in my mouth example. no no there's difference between okay, you are wait 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 so can you tell me is bro 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 i'm okay. i'm, I'm, I'm handling wait listen do you believe mary got pregnant at the age of 12 no 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 let's be no why why not let's be why not i will come to her you will I will come is that the best example? Where does it say Mary was 12 years old? Okay, show me in the Quran where it says that. Oh, that you already accept, agreed with me that you will... You want evidence from the script? No, no, no. From your, from your own uh, sources? From the Christian no, sources? No, from my Bible. I okay, show me from the Quran then. Eh? Show me from the no, Quran. No, no, you, Why not? Your criteria is different. Show me from the Quran that you have to pray five times.
In many places it says. Yeah, you, uh, show me. Yes, please. How to pray it doesn't say. No. But to pray five, five times, times a day, yes. The different timings when show it comes. No? You are recording. Wait, wait, wait. Let him show that in the But why are you changing the topic now? Why are you changing the topic? Because you, are, you, because are, you are, said. Yeah, listen, listen. Listen, you said Muhammad wasn't a good example no, no, because no. he married a minor, no, according to him. You. But I'm asking you. Mary was 12 years old, according to the Catholic Encyclopedia. No. 12 years old. I don't. I'm asking you, how old was your God when he made a pregnancy? I do not follow an encyclopedia. But you follow the Bible. Can you show me? According yes, to the Bible. Bible. According to the Bible. Yes. According to the Bible. Did God sanction the killing of oh, infants? The, okay. No, I'm not. Because no, you're no, telling no, no. me, is your God? Can you show? Because me? you cannot stand by the can same you, standards. No, no. Can you show me? What? Everything about my faith. Yes. Is in the Bible. Yes, I can. Okay. Everything but, about. But do you think that's a good faith. example? No. Is that a good example? Which one? Killing infants. Oh, they, for God, He can. Really? Yeah. What is the problem? Okay. So if he gave life. So, you, so you, you, you. So why are you having a problem? No, no, no. Do, do you think that it is, it is a problem for Allah to kill uh, pe uh, you know, infants and everyone in, in Sodom and Gomorrah? Can I, can I, think can I respond to that? Can I respond to that? Okay. okay. First and foremost, when I say the Amalekites, which Shamsi gave you the example, which is Numbers, to, uh, sorry, First Samuel 15. Yes. Here, God is telling you, sorry, God Himself is not raining down some uh, punishment on them in terms of brimstones and fire or whatever it is like it happened in Sodom and Gomorrah this was God himself exacting his punishment on them however what we see different in Numbers 23 19 where, where your God told Moses to go and kill everyone except the ones who were virgins okay yes you know how many killed 31,000 of them 31 sorry 31,000 he saved so you were virgin. Wait, wait, I'm coming to that. No. So the difference between the two is this. Uh, yeah, no, in no. Sodom and Gomorrah, uh. it was God himself exacting the punishment. Okay. However, uh. what happened during the time of uh, the uh, Amalekites and the Midianites? Okay. Who took the revenge? Okay. Who? No, you, you just... Okay, me. I'll tell you, I'll tell you. Let's see if you know this. No, no, it no. wasn't God, actually. It was God sanctioning that command for the Jewish people to do it. Yes? The Jews were instructed to go kill every male, every female, every child, every infant. And guess what? In Numbers 23, 19. No, no, wait, wait, wait. In no, number, no, 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 this is the same point. No, yes, no, no. it's the same point. No, no, no. no. It's the same no, point. Not being the fact, the yeah. fact that Jesus, no, 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 no. wait, wait, Jesus is the Stay God of the, the test. Stay with the point. Okay, the no, point no, is this. Not, the I, point I, is this. If Jesus was your best example, he wouldn't tell you to go kill the infants. Would he? Because according to him, Jesus, Jesus is the God of the Old Testament. Of course, you're running away now. Run away! I, I have answer for you. You will. Yeah, the point is this. Answer. No, you but will not. You are just talking to you. Okay, let me finish. No, no, no. Let me Let's see if we can manage it. I understood it. No, you I didn't. Understood. No, you did not. You what did you understand? No, this is. Okay, what did you understand? Go on, tell me. If I am wrong, let me know. Yeah, go on. Your point was in Sodom and Gomorrah, it was God directly killing the children. Yes. But and, and, in the and case of Amalekites, it was God used the people to kill the God children. instructed the people. Oh, instructed the people yes, to kill Yes, sanctioned them. The whether God instructed the people to kill or whether used a, a natural force to kill the people, killing is killing. It doesn't matter what source God uses. But killing killing infants? is killing. Yes. Why? Killing is killing. Do you know why they were so killed? Your Allah killed uh, infants. Yeah in Sodom and Gomorrah yes. and you are okay with that and when God kills in the Old Testament who were sinners that is uh, sinners you are not okay with it so basically you are you haven't uh, understood uh, you haven't understood I understood no it. you did not I, no no, no. I, I, my point no, was no, no. this the judgment of God I, is just the judgment of human beings who take the sword in the hand to kill they can make up any story you see when the Jews were weak yes they did not kill the Amalekites but when they became strong after 400 years this this Amalekites. Are you talking about, um, about I'm talking about Muhammad, Amalekites. Yes. Muhammad? No, I'm talking about Amalekites. So for the after 400 years, yeah. after 400 years, how is it possible for these people to kill them? Because after 400 years, these Jews became strong, and only then they told the people, "Look, God is telling us to go and seek revenge." The word "revenge" is mentioned there. Okay. They were killed because of what happened to them in the past, okay. 400 years ago. Okay. So these infants who were killed. 
they were not the ones who were doing anything wrong. Okay. Their fathers were not doing anything well, wrong. Their mothers were not doing anything wrong. It happened 400 years ago. So this was a revenge, not for their fault. I understood your point. No, you didn't. There, I don't there, think so. I, no, no. This is a problem. I don't think you did. So there is a reason. I can give you that reason. But this is my question. So what was the reason for you the killing? You are against killing, right? No, I said against, you are killing, against killing unjustly. So, so, Nine, not just killing by itself. 929 says, fight those who does not believe in Allah. And? 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 Yeah. Have you read what 86 is? 86? No. Yes. Read it in context no, then. No, 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 no. <laughs> what is the context? Let's read it in. Take your Quran. And Why should it. I take my Quran? No, when every time I ask you to open your Bible, yes, you say I don't have the Bible. It, 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 yes? No, fine. Every no, time no. I ask this guy, where's the Bible? No. I don't have it. No. So they came preaching no, with this no. giant board over here. What's the yes? problem? And they didn't bring no, the Bibles didn't, with them. Yeah, that's fine. <laughs> we don't have to. Because I did not come to argue with you. No, you didn't. I you did came to preach here. Yeah. Well, somebody, then somebody, you should be able to stand you, by your own. You are coming with your camera, man. We come and, here every and, Sunday, and, man. Come on. Okay, that's Just because you came this, first this time doesn't mean job. you have to judge. This is not my job. I am standing here to tell people about Jesus Christ. If they have an honest question, I will answer. This is like you are interrogating me. Well, this, this is, is like what happens in two cameras. This is what happens in speaker's corner. I'm surprised you're surprised. But, but, but. Maybe you should have done some research before you came here. You agreed with me. What? That uh, 51 year old Muhammad marrying a 6 year old child is not the best example to mankind. He agreed with me. Can I respond to that? So that means Can I respond to that? You are disagreeing with Allah. No, I'm not. Can I respond to that? First and foremost, marrying a minor was quite common in the time of Prophet Muhammad and even before him. So if you look at the Bible, there are several examples where people had married. Younger even. In fact, if you read the entire Bible, there's not a single verse which gives you the age of consent. The age of consent which you talk about, 18 years old, do you know what is the age of consent in Japan? One of the first world countries? It's 13. We are not talking if you go about by that. the standard, no, I'm going, I'm going by that. I'm going by that. No, 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 no. Because what standard are you basing no, 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 it on? No, no, the Bible? No, the Bible no, doesn't have such a standard. We are talking about is a 51 year old man marrying a six year old child the best example i am not based on whom based on whom i am no, no, based you, on whom you based you on whose standard yeah my standard it is what is your standard example. is your standard based on the bible i don't know how many of you think that marrying a six year old child Marry a 50 year old man or 51 year old man marrying a 60 year old child is the best example to humankind. How many of you think that? Way? None of them. Will. All, this None is of them. Will. Can I respond no, to that? Can I, I respond to that? No, no. Okay. That, By the way, you know, Mary. But Mary was 12 years old no. and Joseph no, no. married her at the age of 12. Where? You know how he was 90 years old. Joseph where? was 90 years old. Shall show I show me. you where? Yeah, show okay. Me. Show me. First and in foremost. The Bible. Oh, in the yeah. Bible. Okay, you show me in the Quran then. Yeah? Huh? The Quran says Muhammad is the best example. Uh, yes, but and show you, me the marriage. You agree. Show me the marriage, marriage in the Quran. In the, you ah, you see, he doesn't have it in the Quran, just like you expect me to show yeah, Expect me to show him from the Bible. Yeah. I'm asking him to show me from the Quran then. Yeah. Do you see the yeah. double standards? You, you, Joseph was 90 years old when he married a 12 year old Mary I, who was already pregnant by his God. I, I, and you know what? The worst thing is, Jesus, I, if Jesus yeah. is God, this then is, he made his own mother pregnant. This, this now you tell me. If anyone, if anyone is talking about rationality, can you make your own mother pregnant? Now he doesn't want to accept it. Because when we saw the absurdity of the Bible, absurdity of your God, then you cannot. Yes, run away with your cameras. <laughs> okay, so now he's talking to his camera. I'm going to talk to our cameras. Bring it here. Who's is this? Come here, come here. Look, look, Dad. It's finished now. Okay, so Joseph was 90 years old when he married a 12-year-old Mary. Now, if you if you're having a problem with a six-year-old marry a 50-year-old, then you should also have a problem with that. But the reason he had to bring up the young marriage of Aisha, it is anachronistic. Means it is not something that you judge by today's standard. What was happening 1400 years ago? The Jews, the Christians, even the pagans, even the Muslims. This was a different time, a different standard. You do not judge it by the 21st standard. However, if you believe that Jesus had a mother called Mary, and if you believe that Mary had a God who was a triune God, then Jesus is also her God. In other words, the Holy Spirit is also her God. In other words, the Father is also her God. Did the Holy Spirit make Mary pregnant? According to them, yes. He basically shadowed her and he made her pregnant. I'm not saying this is through sexual intercourse. However, he made her pregnant, he made her pregnant. Now, if anybody makes someone pregnant, then automatically the child that is born is a father. 
He is the father of that child. However, whether it is through IVF or whatever measurement you want to take, if someone makes somebody, a woman pregnant and that woman has a child, then automatically becomes a father. Why do they not call the Holy Spirit the father? Why? Why this discrepancy we see this in the Bible? They have a problem with the young marriage of Aisha, but when we question them about the young marriage of Mary, oh, they don't want to know. They don't want to know that a 90-year-old married, 90-year-old Joseph, married a 12 year old child today's standard a 12 year old is a child yes in some countries like japan they might have an age of consent 13 in some countries like germany and italy they have an age of consent 14. in some parts of america they don't even have age of consent in some some of their states and they have child marriages there they have child marriages in india one of the most moral person people who usually give a reference to is gandhi from india guess at what age he got married at the age of 13 and his wife was even younger maybe 12 or or maybe the same age that was child marriage accepted then because that was a different time we do not judge them by that time however are the muslims required to marry a young young woman or a child if you want to call it that no they are not this is not something we are encouraged to do yes you won't find among the companions many people marrying young young uh, uh, young girls but this was something at that time which was practiced and not only that it is not only about sex which most most of these people are thinking about that how can you have sex with a with a child if muhammad was indeed someone who was abusing children then he would have consummated the marriage at the age of six why did he wait until later three years or more why did he wait for that consummation because the ruling of getting married and consummation sorry for consummation of marriage was determined by the age of puberty at that time and as soon as puberty set in Aisha or the Allah yes then they consummated the marriage this clearly shows what was in time practice at that time and nothing that if you so if you went 1400 years ago you wouldn't find this to be problematic because everybody everybody at that time accepted it it was acknowledged and they had 30s or something and they would die so they would even amongst the Jewish tradition they used to get married at very early age so even though the Bible doesn't say Mary was 12 years old when she got married, they take into consideration the history of the Jewish people living 2000 years ago. How did they basically conduct marriages and at what age? It was determined at a very young age they used to get married. And that's how they, uh, by the writing of some of the first century scholars, they came to the conclusion that she was either 12 or 13 or maybe slightly slightly older but it was around that range which today's standard would find problematic but anyway that wasn't my discussion the discussion that he wanted not to go further and he did not even understand the two natures of jesus the divine and the human he kept saying the human nature died human nature died as if trying to say that was a different person who died it was the same second person of trinity who died and as soon as he died then he is immortal you cannot say he's immortal and that was the point I raised with him, which he didn't want to understand because I, can't, I can explain it to him, but I cannot understand it for him. And this is the discussion we had. So Alhamdulillah, at least we tried to conduct it as sincerely as possible. But as soon as we showed them about examples, like in the case of uh, Sodom and Gomorrah, where God exacts his punishment, yes, that is we acknowledge. But when, when they say that this is what God told us to do after 400 years in the case of Amalekites, like in first uh, samuel 15 then we don't buy that because it shows me that these people are just using that to go and kill these women and children and even infants and even the animals yes because that shows insincerity there that you are saying that god would actually instruct human beings to go to door to door yes and to kill them mercilessly inhumanely and not only the adults but even the little infants the infants are normally two years old and younger so even newborn babies were killed mercilessly you see allah says in the quran that he does not test you beyond your scope and this is what is against a human nature to test you beyond your scope i.e to tell you specifically to go and knock from door to door and to kill infants and children and everyone in that household this is something which is unlike what we see from a merciful god but at the end of the day, if that is what they want to believe, then that's fine. Then why do they point to the Muslim atrocities that take place in, around the world? Yes, of course we don't agree with them. The people who call themselves the uh, Islamic State and so on, they say they represent Islam. No, they don't. In Islam, we have a code of conduct. Even when we went to war, 
This is what our Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi instructed us: not to kill the women or the children or anybody else who is not fighting you or the the people who are in the churches and the synagogues, the rab, uh, the the, uh, the priests and the rabbis, or do not destroy the crops or the animals, the livestock. These instructions were given at times of war during the time of Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam and during his time of his companions even. Yes, Alhamdulillah, we see this when. Today mentioned in the Geneva Convention, obviously not uh, word for word, but many of this is encapsulated in the Geneva Convention. They have rules of engagement during war. But the thing is, if you look at the Old Testament, yes, anyone that they occupied and anyone who did not believe in God, they would mercilessly massacre everyone. And God would tell them, do not spare even one person or soul. They would massacre the animals and the plants even. Because many times they give the reason, oh, because they were sinners. What sin has the animal committed or the plants that they were destroyed? You see, this is the inconsistency we see from a God who is merciful and kind and just. Alhamdulillah, in Islam, this is consistent. We see, we do not judge by the standards of that time. And like I said, these are things you got to take into context the history of that time. If you're going to negate anything from history, from the time of those, uh, from the time the people lived 1400 years ago, 2000 years ago, then you will be in jeopardy throughout whether you're reading the Quran or the Bible or the Hadith or anything. Alhamdulillah, with that we conclude that we talked about uh, the oneness of God. There are things in the Bible that we don't disagree with, the oneness of God, for example. And I've told them repeatedly that this is something which is the truth in the Bible. And we go by this truth and we stand by this truth to this day. Alhamdulillah, Rabbil Alameen. Wassalatu wassalam ala rasulil kareem. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Jazakallah khairan. Assalamu alaikum.